how to text message. Welcome to Video Jug. I'm Stuart Headlam and the mobile phone isn't just about talking these days, all no. Look at any group of kids and the chances are they're communicating with the written word alone. And I bet Shakespeare never saw that one coming. Yep, text messaging is the new power of speech, but if you don't know your LOLs from your collection of colons, then this jug is for you. You need a mobile phone, a supple thumb and a pair of eyes. Preferably your own. Basic texting. The simplest way to write a text message is to type each letter individually. Every key on the keypad has three letters on it. Press the key once to get the first letter, twice to get the second and three times to get the third. It sounds complicated but it soon becomes second nature. The trouble is it can take a long time to write sentences this way, but fortunately there's a shortcut. Predictive text. Predictive text means that you only have to press each key once and the phone will make a guess at what word you're coming up with based on the likely combination of letters. It usually guesses right, but if not, you can cycle through the options it's come up with or enter your own words into the dictionary. Predictive text can be turned on in your messaging options. Emoticons The trouble with text, predictive or otherwise, is that it's hard to add any intonation. This is where emoticons come in. No, emoticons aren't transforming robot toys from the 80s, but human faces made up of letters and punctuation marks that indicate your feelings to go with your words. For example, a colon, a hyphen and a bracket looks like a smiling face when you look at it sideways. You can shorten that by just using the colon and the bracket. Using emoticons such as these, you can show that you're happy, sad, surprised, angry or even blowing a raspberry. Initialisms there are also some commonly used initials whose use has mainly spread from the messaging boards you find on the internet. The most common of these is probably LOL, which stands for laugh or laughing out loud. But you might also come across ROTFL, which stands for rolling on the floor laughing, or IMHO, which stands for in my humble opinion. The use and number of these initializations seems to grow on an almost daily basis, so it might be worth looking up an up-to-date online dictionary. Media messaging. If words flying through the air as if by magic isn't 21st century enough for you, then how about pictures and video? If your phone has a camera on it, there's a good chance you can send and receive picture messages. The latest handsets also support video messaging where you can send a short video clip to another phone. Just be aware that this media messaging costs more than standard text messaging and you'll also need to make sure that you've got the correct network settings on your phone as not every handset has them by default. If you're having trouble sending or receiving any kind of message, pop into your network provider's shop or go to their website to get the information you need. Now go work those thumbs!